Hello Ratbags, just a very quick Valheim update video today. If you don't know, there was a patch early last week which pretty much changed the way that the AI worked. It made the AI more aggressive and they would run and go and smash your buildings. But it wasn't necessarily meant to be 100% like that. In fact, it was meant to be a bit more balanced. Lots of you guys were reporting that the players were just being ignored as the enemies would go and attack your base parts. Literally when you're standing right there. You can see it from last week, random save bug, monster AI tweaks, more aggressively attacking structures when unable to attack the player among other things. But today, Devoid, despite meant to being on his first holiday in probably a good couple of years, has actually started work and fixed it and tweaked it and corrected it. Monsters should always target creatures, including players, first if they have a clear path to it and monsters should only attack low priority structures, walls, etc. if they are trying to get to a player. It did cause a little bit of controversy. I know a bunch of you guys were upset, especially on Reddit and stuff, still playing the game, saying it was just simply too stupidly hard that the monsters were just ignoring you. I don't know, no. I feel like it probably offered a bit more of a challenge, but certainly there are some horror stories on Reddit of players finding their bases absolutely destroyed by a couple of trolls. Simply, even when they were trying to aggro them, they couldn't do it. But Monty, one of the devs from Valheim, said the AI tweaks in this last patch made Valheim enemies focus more on attacking buildings than players, perhaps a bit too much. We listened to your feedback and hopefully this patch should make them behave a bit better. It goes to show as well though the importance of test servers. This update was kind of just chucked out after only being on the test server for maybe a couple of days. In fact, I think it was only like a day and a half before it just suddenly came out. Obviously trying to get everything done before they actually shut up shop for a couple of weeks and went on a well-deserved break. But I am pretty pleased to see that they did actually revert this or, or change it at least. So yeah, there you go. That is the Valheim patch at the moment. So um, also, just a little FYI about why I'm still playing Valheim, even if I'm not necessarily getting very good views and what's going on with the situation with the player base. I think it's fair to say the player base has dropped a bit. From 500,000 players in February in its peak to 33,000 or 26,000 at the moment on a daily basis. Now remember, these are peak numbers as well. It's not like the average. There's still obviously hundreds of thousands of players playing the game on a daily basis. But at any given moment, that is the peak of players that you'll find. So why am I still covering it? Why am I not just leaving it for a while and then maybe coming back like I've done with pretty much every other survival game I've ever covered? Well, I'm simply enjoying Valheim. I'm enjoying playing it with my Ratbag crew. We've been doing a little Let's Play together. It's not a server, it's just in my own world. So the gameplay you see when you see one of my videos is us just having some fun and trying to do some challenges and playing it legit. And that's something that I struggled with, covering so many games where I try and give you guys the news about every survival game, guides and tutorials on the biggest and newest ones, and also trying to somehow stay in contact with the older games that helped make my channel successful. It is pretty difficult, it is pretty tough, but I've recently made a decision to focus more on just doing Let's Play content or gameplay content. I want to enjoy playing my games again, and I find that when I'm doing just nothing but guides on the hottest games, I tend to find the bottom line. I tend to not really invest enough time in actually playing it and seeing the experience from everyone's point of view. And so that's what I want to do with Valheim. I did make a bunch of guides. I didn't like rock the world with anything, but I did okay. There was a good few videos here that hit over 100,000 views. And I've been trying to keep you guys up to date with patch notes and stuff like that as well. And I'm going to continue doing that. So if you want to hear stuff about Valheim first, I'll always be there to drop it for you, most cases. And I'm going to carry on just doing my Let's Play with my rat bags. We may look into mods in the future again. We may do some events. There's all sorts of things we've got in our heads. And I basically want to be in the best place possible that when the Hearth and Home update does drop, probably in some point in August or September, you guys know that I've actually been really investing my time into the game. I've been playing it day in, day out. And hopefully I can give you even better guides and tutorials, which I admit sometimes I do get a little bit rushed out. And so there occasionally can be a few mistakes. So that's the thinking anyway. Alongside other games like Grounded and still taking a look at new games, but making sure that I'm not necessarily dumping a player base just to go and move on to the next game. I thought I'd throw this in here anyway, because I did get a couple of comments from people asking why I'm still playing Valheim. I'm just enjoying it. It's why I decided not to bother playing Ark, because I'm not enjoying Ark at the moment. Let me know what you're doing. Have you been one of them players that hasn't touched Valheim in a while? Are you sticking with it? Are you playing with lots of mods? Are you having fun with your friends? Or is it just, yeah, simply an okay case of wait until the update drops? I've said my piece before that I disagree with lots of people complaining that the game needs quicker updates. This isn't an MMO, it's not an online only game. 
The player base can, in fact, dwindle and die. And I've seen so many games rise and hit huge numbers once again. Terraria is probably the biggest, best example of that. It also managed to hit nearly 500,000 players. And that was like four years, five years. No, look, eight years after it actually originally come out. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Valheim's going to be around for years. By the time it comes out on consoles, it will be massively popular again. And I think with these updates, they may not be as big as and bombastic as we kind of maybe expect them to be. But I still think there's going to be enough to push the player numbers back into the 100 or 200,000 mark. And when that happens, again, hopefully, I do need the views to keep me going. I'll have the actual proper experience with the game a little bit more so I can deliver better content to you. It also means I'm not as burnt out trying to cover every game under the sun. So there you go. Latest, guys.